All right, we're here at the Wegmans LPGA Championship, and I'm here with the co uh, tied for second in B Park, six under for your second round today. Um, you know, you, you, first round even, second round six under. How'd you turn that around? I mean, it was just mostly the difference was the short game. Um, first day was just, you know, I couldn't drop anything and I just, you know, didn't play well at all on the par fives, um, play horribly on the par five. It's, it's where you have to play really good here is the par fives, but um, I definitely take advantage of them today and I, um, you know, made an eagle, made a, like, made a chip in. I, I did all sorts of stuff that, that really helped me go through the round. Yes, I saw your eagle on, on 14. Um, you have a lot of momentum going into the weekend. How do you plan on carrying that into Saturday and Sunday? Uh, you know, just trying to do whatever I've been doing on the course today and, um, you know, hit a, you know, give myself a lot of opportunities. And, um, yeah, I mean, the pus got to drop some, sometimes. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to try to be patient out there because it's windy and quite tricky out there. So, um, yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, now you are the defending champ here at Wegmans. What would it mean to you to win two years in a row the last Wegmans LPGA Championship? Yeah, it will be, you know, meaning special to be a part of, part of the history, obviously. Um, this is last year in Rochester and um, playing well here, you know, will give me a lot of confidence and obviously, you know, you know fans here are just so lovely, so I'd love to play good in front of them. So. All right, perfect. Well, thank you and good luck tomorrow. Thanks.